Well, of course, it's possible to have free internet. It takes political leadership. It takes real political will. The obstacles are the existing monopolies uh, who want to um, profit off of restricting access and making it harder for people to get access to the internet. So, what's needed is revival of democracy to make it possible to get over this uh, to get over this restriction. And what would be the ideal balance between creative work and the free use of them? Well, we have to recognize there's many models of creativity. Um, I'm all for the artist being able to make money from his or her creativity. That's the way the artist is independent of uh, patrons. Um, but beyond the artist, uh, there's also the scholar and the historical archive in our culture, and all of that needs to be accessible and freely shareable. Um, and so what we need is a copyright system that understands these differences, that makes sure the artist can earn the money an artist needs while making it easy for people to f share and, uh, and build on their cultural past without stupid legal restrictions getting in the way. Okay, and what's the importance of enabling the flexible use of copyright laws and who would benefit from it? Well, you know, copyright law was written for a world where every creator had a lawyer sitting next to him or her. But we're in a world where anybody with a computer or an iPhone uh, um, is a creator. And so we have to have a law that is simple and easy for people to live by, uh, otherwise they won't respect the law. So copyright law right now is wildly complex, written for lawyers, written for publishers and record companies, and we have to change it to make it to be a law that's written for creators, recognizing creators are ordinary citizens. Okay, and how can you, can an event like Emergencias contribute to the discussion of the internet as a public space, a real public space? Well, I hope what, you know, my contribution to this conference uh, is to remind people about the, the deep democratic deficit that exists all across the world. And by that I mean the fact that we don't have a democracy that actually represents the people. Uh, in America in particular, it's outrageously crippled and corrupted democracy um, that produces a government that doesn't respond to what average people want, but responds to what the richest or the funders of campaigns want. And unless we can find a way to revive the idea of democracy, um, the ideals of you know, free culture or a free internet or access to culture across the internet are really impossible because democracy is at the core of making these things possible and that's the fight I think we have to recruit more people to join.